Welcome to Live Interactive English. My name is Winnie, and I'm Matt. And welcome back to a day with the Joe community in Danaiku Part Two. Speaking of which, Matt,、mm -hmm. is food important to you when you travel? Yeah, of course. I think、um, you know. I always want to try the local food wherever I'm traveling, and I think it's a way to you know learn to to really. Feel the culture of the、right. people, so you can see what kind of foods they enjoy, what makes people happy, because food makes people happy, and it lets you get to know them.、Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a follow-up question: Do you like seafood? I don't hate seafood. Be I, honest, do you hate it? No, no. So I like lots of kinds of seafood. I、okay. like like sashimi and sushi、okay. and things like that. Um, but I don't like strong, strong seafood flavors like、Got、fish、it. flavors. So、mm -hmm. certain things I don't like very、okay. much. And usually I would just prefer to have a steak over a piece of grilled fish. Well, hopefully today's article will change your mind because at the Joe community, a certain type of fish is very important to them. And I will tell you after this. The river is Danaiku's most important feature because it's home to many shovel-jaw carp. People from outside the Tso community used to catch the fish by putting poison in the water or using electricity. This caused carp numbers to drop dramatically. When Shinmei villagers saw that the fish were disappearing, they decided to put a stop to these unsustainable hunting practices and open Danaiku Nature Ecological Park to the public. Hey there! Let's take a look at part two of our article, "A Day with the Joe Community in Danaiku." So, last time where we left off, the writer was telling us about their experience with the Joe Tribe in Danaiku Nature Ecological Park. Right. So, just where we left off, they were having a guide show them the local plants that they have there and what those plants are used for. Right. A great introduction to the Joe people. And let's continue on with the article. The river is Danaiku's most important feature because it's home to many. Drum roll, shovel jaw carp. So that was the fish that I was talking about. Okay. And so hopefully this will change your mind on seafood.、Mm -hmm. People from outside the Joe community used to catch the fish by putting poison in the water or using electricity. Okay. This caused carp numbers to drop dramatically.、Mm -hmm. Yes, I can imagine that would happen because、uh, electricity and water. Probably not the best yeah, idea. Yeah, these are kinds of、um, fishing that I think used to be a lot more common. Putting、um, like using electricity to fish because it just causes all the fish to die and float to the top, and、right. then you can pick them up. Yes. Yeah. But many of these kinds of fishing have become illegal,、mm -hmm. so you shouldn't. And it's not good for the local fish population because it kills too many. And it and then in doing so, it's a chain of events, and then the whole ecosystem suffers.、Mm -hmm. So electricity is a form of energy、mm -hmm. that you know people use to power things, to make things move, to make things you know work. We use electricity every day, and when you see the plugs on your wall, the electrical sockets, that's where we get electricity from. Yep. And people can make electricity through many different ways. There's nuclear power.、Mm -hmm. There's wind power or、mm -hmm. solar power. There's some of the ways that we get. Electricity, right? So, for example, in the modern world, most things are powered by electricity, right? And so they're talking about using the electricity to try and catch the fish because when we, you know, electricity plus water equals not good for if you're in the water,、mm. aka the carp. So they use the electricity and. 
they'll just die and float up, and I guess they get a really they get really good eating for a few a、uh, few weeks. Yeah, they also mentioned poison. I would think electricity would、yeah. be better than poison、yeah. because I don't think you want to eat, eat something that. that's eaten poison. Maybe it's just poisonous to the fish and not to us, but that would be how would you figure that out though? <laughs> so we also have the word dramatically, our adverb, and it just means very exaggerated, very you know large amounts of drama, and drama equals Big. So, just now in the sentence, we were using dramatically to talk about the amount of fish dramatically decreased because they were killing so many of them at one time. So, for example, you could say support for the president fell dramatically after his latest mistake.、Mm-hmm. When Shinmei villagers saw that the fish were disappearing, they decided to put a stop to these unsustainable hunting practices and open Danaiku Nature Ecological Park to the public. Right. So just like we were saying, how long can you really do this for? Right.、Mm, so unsustainable meaning can't be sustained.、Mm. To sustain something means to keep something going or keep something working in working order. For a period of time,、right. so when we say unsustainable, it cannot keep going. It cannot,、right. you cannot keep doing it. Right, because just now, you know, they say they used electricity to get all these fish, and yeah, you have a lot of fish for a few weeks, and then you realize, wait, we killed all the fish, so we're gonna have to wait even longer for more fish to appear.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I need to know what happens after the break. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的课文读到，作者在导游的带领下有参观公园，看看这个周族过去的生活方式。那他们还一起走去河边，听导游解释不同种类植物的用途。作者接着提到说，那条河是达纳伊谷最重要的地貌，因为那里是许多固鱼的栖息地。周族社区以外的人过去常在水中投毒，或者是用电来捕鱼，那就导致了固鱼数量急剧下降。村民看到鱼正在消失，那他们决定要制止这些无法永续的捕猎行为，也决定向大众开放达纳伊谷自然生态公园。我们看到单字 electricity。Electricity， 它表示电力或是电。那么 dramatically 这个副词则表示显著的、明显的或是戏剧性的。那这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。我们来看第一个重点是 be home to 加上名词，这是表达是什么的栖息地，某地拥有什么什么。那么 home 在这边是当不可数名词用。例如 ，Amsterdam is home to many world famous museums。阿姆斯特丹拥有许多世界著名的博物馆。那第二个重点是 put a stop to something， 就是表达停止、制止某事。例如 ，We need to put a stop to cyberbullying。我们需要制止网络霸凌。好，接华课文中。In the fish viewing area, we saw hundreds of carp swimming around in the water. Further down, there's another area where you can get your feet wet. I was just a bit disappointed that we had come too late in the year to enjoy the lunch in the river experience. Between March and October, you can enjoy delicious barbecued food while sitting in the water. Before we left, there was some extra time for a DIY activity. Using tiny hammers and tools, we stamped patterns onto fish-shaped pieces of leather. We then painted them rainbow colors. My creative skills certainly won't be winning any prizes. But my little fish keychain is a reminder of our happy time in Danaiku. Welcome back. Before the break, we discussed how the most important feature of the Zhou community's village is the river、mm. that flows through it or next to it, and that is because. This river has the shovel jaw, sh- the shovel jaw carp. Tongue twister, yeah. Sorry, the shovel jaw carp lives in this river, and that's an important source of, of food. Right. So a long time ago, they used to fish for these carp using poison or electricity. Yeah. Which would kill a lot of carp,、mm-hmm. but they found it was unsustainable, so that it couldn't last. So they started the Danaiku. Nature Ecological Park, right, and 
that's where we are now. Yes, exactly. So continuing on with the article, in the fish viewing area, we saw hundreds of carp swimming around in the water. Further down, there's another area where you can get your feet wet. Okay. Okay. Get your feet wet in the river. Yeah, I'm glad they don't do electrical fishing anymore because then I wouldn't want to get my feet wet. Right, it might be dangerous if yeah. they're still using electricity <laughs> to fish to get your feet wet. I was just a bit disappointed that we had come too late in the year to enjoy the lunch in the river experience. Right, and because we remember this story is, you know, told in the first person perspective. Mm -hmm. And so I've actually heard about this lunch in the river experience. Mm -hmm. I've seen photographs of many tourists to this day going to, you know, parts of the river where they are able to actually enjoy a floating mm -hmm. meal. So they put it in these baskets, these floating tables, and they have a lot of delicacies on there, which I'm assuming carp mm -hmm. is one of them. Yes, I think so. Between March and October, you can enjoy delicious barbecued food while sitting in the water. Sign me up. And as I remember from, from the first part of this article, this takes place in November, mm -hmm. so they are in fact too late to enjoy this experience. Yeah, they're gonna have to wait till next year. <laughs> Before we left, there was some extra time for a DIY activity. And of course, DIY means do it yourself, something yeah. that you can make with your own hands. Right. But you know, I find in Taiwan, people use DIY very different from how it's used in, in Canada. Right. Usually when we use DIY, meaning do it yourself, we mean usually to, to fix or repair or mm -hmm. to build something around that you would otherwise pay someone else to do. Yeah, or to buy from the store, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. for example, furniture. Right, yeah, so maybe if your you know, toilet's broken and you're gonna fix it, that's a DIY project right. because you would otherwise have to pay for someone to do it. Yeah, plumber. But I find in Taiwan, they people, just mean... people use DIY for what, what I would call arts and crafts. Right. Or in this case, I would call it a craft activity. Right, like handcrafted things, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, continuing on, using tiny hammers and tools, we stamped patterns onto fish-shaped pieces of leather. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, so that is the, you know, they are trying to personalize these pieces of leather. So we have this word hammer, and it is a noun, and it is basically a tool that is very heavy at the top because when you go like that, you swing it over, we use it to hit things to put it into place, for example, like a nail into a plank of wood, okay? So it has to be heavy at the top so that it can add weight to whatever you are hammering, okay? So for example, I need a hammer so I can fix this broken shelf. But usually when we say hammer, we're talking about a really big one, but I think they're talking about little tiny mm, hammers. Fixing that broken shelf, that would be a DIY project. Now that would be a <laughs> DIY project, yes. But they're doing handcrafts, like you were saying. So they're not, we're not talking about really big hammers. We're talking about, you know, small ones. Right. Uh, so they are working with leather. Mm. So leather is a material that is the skin of animals. Right. So most often when we say leather, we're referring to a, the skin of a cow. Yes. The skin of cattle. So yeah. Things like that. We usually, if we're talking about another kind of leather that isn't from a cow, we usually mention that it's yeah, the something name. else leather. Yeah, like, like alligator leather. Alligator leather, yeah. exactly. It's from the skin of an alligator. Mm -hmm. So, for example, that leather jacket is so cool. Right. And so, I think, you know, they're using leather because leather is very durable. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, yeah, that's cool. So going back to working with these leather fish, mm. we then painted them rainbow colors. My creative skills certainly won't be winning any prizes, but my little fish keychain is a reminder of our happy time in Danaiku. At first, I would have thought they used the leather of a fish to make it. Now that would be pretty cool, but it would be very thin. Yes, I think it's not very durable. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't think carp skin is the best. Not for known for being very strong, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have this word creative, and that is our adjective. And it just basically means when you have great ideas and you're very imaginative. So, for example, Sally has a very creative mind. She's always got fun new ideas. And to finish off our awesome Danaiku episode, we have a what do you think? So, Matt. 
Which activity in Danaiku Nature Ecological Park sounds the most interesting to you? Ah,、uh, I would like to make a make a fish keychain.、Mm, okay. For the reason that I don't currently have a keychain and I need a new keychain. And now that you know about this shovel job carp, yes, that's something you can also try. I guess so.、If、And I, maybe it'll、must. change your mind on seafood. Well, because, I because, think it's river food.、Uh, well, that's <laughs> what, that's the activity I'm looking、okay. most forward to. And we could go on a floating river experience to eat this awesome shovel jar carp. And for those of you at home, hopefully you guys can take a day trip、uh, to Danaiku Nature Ecological Park.、Mm -hmm. And we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye. In the river, the people saw hundreds of fish in the water. In the river, there is also a place to throw the fish in the water. This place can be enjoyed in the summer to enjoy the experience of the fish in the water. The author also mentions that before they leave, they have more time to do DIY and work on their own. They use a small wooden tool to make the fish in the water. They use a small wooden tool to make the fish in the water. They use a small wooden tool to make the fish in the water. They use a small wooden tool to make the fish in the water. They use a small wooden tool to make the fish in the water. They use a small wooden tool to make the fish in the water. They use a small wooden tool to make the fish in the water. They use a small wooden tool to make the fish in the water. They use a small wooden tool to make the fish in the water. Hammer 就是铁锤，那么 leather leather 它是指皮革。老师说的 alligator leather 就是指鳄鱼皮。再来看到 creative， 它是形容词，形容有创意的、有创造力的。那这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。这边我们来看 where 当关系副词的用法。where 当关系副词相当于介系词加 which， 可以引导形容词子句去修饰或是补述说明，表示地方的先行词。那以下介绍两种用法。第一个。我们可以用 where 引导形容词子句来修饰未限定的地点。那这时候要用限定用法 ，where 的前面不加逗号。例如 ，This is the house where my grandparents used to live。这是我爷爷奶奶以前住的房子。那第二个，我们可以用 where 去引导形容词子句来补述说明独一无二的地点。这时候用非限定用法 ，where 的前面要加逗号。例如。Hank spent his entire summer vacation in Pingdong, where his grandparents live. Hank 整个暑假都在屏东度过，那是他爷爷奶奶住的地方。好，那么以上这些讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。The river is Danaiku's most important feature because it's home to many shovel-jaw carp. People from outside the Tso community used to catch the fish by putting poison in the water or using electricity. This caused carp numbers to drop dramatically. When Shinmei villagers saw that the fish were disappearing, they decided to put a stop to these unsustainable hunting practices and open Danaiku Nature Ecological Park to the public. In the fish viewing area, we saw hundreds of carp swimming around in the water. Further down, there's another area where you can get your feet wet. I was just a bit disappointed that we had come too late in the year to enjoy the lunch in the river experience. Between March and October, you can enjoy delicious barbecued food while sitting in the water. Before we left, there was some extra time for a DIY activity. Using tiny hammers and tools, we stamped patterns onto fish-shaped pieces of leather. We then painted them rainbow colors. My creative skills certainly won't be winning any prizes. But my little fish keychain is a reminder of our happy time in Danaiku. Shakadang Trail, located in Taroko National Park, has a fascinating origin story. The name Shakadang comes from a time when the Taroko people found a molar here and believed it was a gift from their ancestors. So. They named the place Sha Kadang, which means molar in Truku language. This trail winds alongside the Sha Kadang River and is known for being flat and easy to walk, making it suitable for the whole family to visit for cooling off and hiking. Sha Kadang Trail is also known as Mysterious Valley Trail. It is famous for its crystal clear water and marble boulders. The friendly trail is built along the river cliff for visitors to observe 
the rock folds and plant ecosystem. In contrast with the wild Li Wu River, Sa Kadang Stream is slow and gentle. The beautiful stream allures visitors to dip their feet in the water. However, the slippery rocks could be dangerous, so it is not encouraged to get off the path. Along the trail, you'll pass a Truku tribal village nicknamed 5D Cabin. The small market provides local made accessories and food. Visitors can take a break here and sample some indigenous delights. Sha Ka Dang Trail is suitable for all ages. The walk is roughly a two hour round trip with little elevation change. Watch your head when passing under overhanging rock faces. It is definitely worth a visit to enjoy the natural landscape. The Sa Ka Dang Trail is a highly recommended path. If you get tired, you can take a break at 5D Cabin and enjoy some indigenous snacks like Ma Gao sausages or roasted wild boar. Along the way, the stream flows with a gem like blue green color and gives the feeling of being in a hidden paradise.